Hey Modelers, Engineer Jeff here and in this video we're going to do a review of the book Painting Wargame Tanks by MIG Ammo. Um, picked this book up uh, about a month ago from uh, Fox One Hobbies. You can uh, find a link to their store or to their site in the comments field down below and uh, I picked it up because I'm wanting to do some uh, bolt action and uh, I also want to paint up some Flames of War tanks so I thought you know I've got basic skills for uh, you know like painting scale models and stuff like that let's see what this book's got maybe it can help me you know speed up my painting I did a, uh, an overview of the book last night and it's basically broken down to um, a quick and easy way of doing things and then there's uh, the advanced way. Um, there's about 28 pages of the quick and easy and then the other uh, 50 or so pages are advanced methods. Gives uh, beginning of the book talks about uh, some introduction to different materials you'd use uh, pigments, acrylics, uh, airbrushing, all high quality uh, glossy pages, nice photos, uh, the different enamels, oils, um, and bang page 13 you're, uh, you're looking at uh, it gives you how to paint a Sherman which is great because I've got some Germans I need to paint up. So it goes over the basic techniques and gives you step by step on what to do and how to do it. it gives you all the materials. Now granted, mostly because it's a MIG ammo book, uh, most of or almost all the products that they mention are uh, by MIG ammo. But uh, Still, it's good information. This this particular one is uh, doing washes and um, you know dusting with uh, pigments to get the look that you want. Goes on to a Stuart M5, a little more advanced techniques, some chipping, and then a Panther. More advanced techniques. Not so much. I mean, it's easy, easier techniques, but it takes what you learned in the model before and kind of builds it off of it, which is cool. And then there's some more tips. Uh, gives you a recommendation of some things that you can pick up at your local store. And then about page 30, it breaks into advanced methods. Uh, more advanced techniques. Uh, working on a panther. Uh, looks like some tread work there color modulation, lots of airbrush work in this one, uh, modulated painting with oils, then details around the wheels, something on uh, putting on decals. I, I'm a list guy and so this type of step-by-step -step stuff is uh, great for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these models um, from uh, Plastic Soldier Company. They're Sherman's I picked up from Fox One Hobbies. And I want to paint those up using those techniques. And then I also got Armor Fury from Fox One Hobbies. So um, once I'm done with the little guys, then I'll work my way up into the big boys. I'm painting Germans for um, Bolt Action and US for Flames of War. So if you like this video, please leave a comment in the comments field down below. Give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.